Well, welcome back. Sunday's race day. Uh, yesterday went all right. We just picked the wrong gear and I just lost the draft. <laughs> well, about halfway, you know, we were leading with the uh, the front pack and uh, it was it was all over. Uh, I knew from the beginning that I, uh, I didn't have the right gear if someone wasn't pushing me. So we did a gear change this morning. Um, hopefully uh, do a little bit better, pick up the draft. Uh, uh, all of us were on the wrong gear. Quincy went way too too high on gear ratio. I went too low on gear ratios. Uh, Junior was way too low. So now we're all back in the middle of where we think we should be. <laughs> we won't know until race time and uh, get going. It is cold this morning, all right? It's uh, 52 degrees. I know all you guys up north are like, 52? That's like, dang, short sleeve shirts, the shirt <laughs> and shorts. Well not down here for me i'm a tropical fish <laughs> i don't like uh, cold weather so let's get today going uh let's uh let's have a blast and uh let's send it all right guys hope you guys enjoy here we are for first practice and i just want to take you around this beautiful racetrack at roebling roads raceway in savannah georgia um, in the morning, it's just a sight to see. It's open roads, open fields, um, trees out to a distance. It's beautiful. We're coming up here to turn one. I'm behind uh, the torpedo. Uh, we were working this morning to see if uh, we had picked the right gear or not. Uh, it was just a guessing game the whole time. I know yesterday we were way off. So today we were just trying to figure it out a little bit better, a little bit more. Um, definitely felt better. Uh, still felt like I was off a tooth or two. Uh, during morning practice, we have multiple classes on track, so you see a K100 uh, blow by us, and um, you'll see a couple other cards. There'll be a couple of laydown animals they might pass us or, or not. Um, but morning practice was good here. It's really hard to see, but you know, once you get past the glare, you really don't have to see. You just keep your foot down, and hopefully nobody spins out in front of you. Really, that's the way it goes. And they just stay on the back bumper of the person in front of you. Uh, for first morning practice, it's kind of chilly outside tires are cold so you gotta be careful on um how much you want to help your buddy out get out of the corners with a little bump bump if you know what i mean so <laughs> i was taking it pretty easy on uh junior in the morning warm-up uh we were just trying to see down the straightaway if we were geared right or not uh felt okay but it was just the both two of us i wanted maybe one more cart to see how we do with the three cart train because um the difference between one car and two carts is pretty big. You'll see later in the video. It's a pretty big difference if you have two carts and one cart. So two carts, we weren't able to get up to uh, to maximum speed, but it was rolling pretty good. Uh, second practice, we just left everything alone. Uh, try to add one more cart to the mix. So practice two, I'm the one leading. I have Junior behind me, and I got Heath behind Junior. And uh, we were trying to see if this is the way to go for the race. Uh, we didn't change anything on the cart. Like I said earlier, you're going to see a couple of animal laydowns uh, pass us. And uh, they're moving, and they're, they're, they're pretty dang fast. Uh, over there, there was like a, a regular 206, uh, same motor we run, just in a full-body cart. And then the difference between draft and no draft, coming up here, you'll see a uh, single cart by himself, uh, no draft, the motor. May You may be pulling 52, 5,300 RPMs by yourself might hit top speed of 65 miles an hour um, it just doesn't have enough ponies to get up so us drafting together we're running uh, mid 70s is uh what we were running uh down the straight where we were we we're on the chip around 75 and then our bottom speed was just 66 so it was pretty good overall um i don't know if maybe next year uh, i drop one more to uh, add one more tooth and then let the top speed be around 74, 73, 74, and then try to carry a little bit more speed on the infield. So we'll see what happens uh, come around March time when we head back. Uh, red flag was out. Uh, thank God nobody was uh, injured or anything. Just a couple people got wild, apparently. People were spinning off the track. So decided to red flag the session and then give us two more laps after all the carnage was cleared up. And then we got back out there, ran those two more laps, uh, decided in the end that it was best to add on a tooth uh, just because we were not on the rev limit as hard as we wanted to be uh, as soon as we wanted to be. Top speed was good, but, you know, top speed isn't everything. You still got to get around the infield. Um, 
so there we went uh definitely was a good practice and just one more change and we're going to send it for the race practice sessions are in the book for today we're just uh, doing some maintenance clean the clutch out uh i know it's still slipping a little bit getting up to speed once it engages it's not going anywhere you don't come off the clutch so i haven't cleaned it forever actually never and i'm not even cleaning that heath is cleaning it for me thanks heath um just want to point out this is only two sessions stop being cheap and change your oil all right this is coming from a guy that's cheap but i don't want to spend money on a black when it starts going to crap and you start losing races and nowhere for no reason so keep your oil fresh keep it clean uh, make sure your chains align uh, clean out your bearings uh, i just flush mine out with brake cleaner fluid uh, spray some hard air into it and then put some lubricant inside and then uh, i gotta clean this up I mean, still, I still got to clean it up, but it rolls not as good as some of the other guys here. Chris's and Miguel rolls forever. I don't know why. And then uh, lap times look good. Um, I still need one more gear change. We all went out in different gears to try to find the right pair, and it looked like Heath and uh, Senior hit the nail on the head because they were run, able to run down Junior and myself. And it was because of me, I was holding Junior up because uh, I was still too low on gearing. So I added another tooth to bring me where we're all going to be at. So it should be a good front race. Let's see what happens. Hopefully nothing bad happens to any of us and we get a good clean race and uh, we have a good final. Let's send it. All right, it is race time and we are ready. Some people get a little more excited than others. Uh, you really can't win the race right off the start, but the number one up there, he had me cracking up. Look at him. He was ready to go. And then I started to uh, play around and <laughs> see if anybody else would jump because if you guys don't know the first road race I ever did, man, that flag went up and I had my foot down to the ground, me and Andrew. And was it John? I think it was me, Andrew, and John, man. We just dropped the hammer and went. <laughs> it was... It was uh, it was an experience for sure. <laughs> Never done that mistake again. So I would play with the throttle. But that number one, man, he was out there for a little bit. So uh, I don't know where you'll see Steve here. Look at him running. He's, he hasn't ran since the Army. <laughs> I love you, Steve. He was pushing him back. And next thing you know, watch, watch one. Watch the one. He creeps up again. He's starting to creep up. He's like, <laughs> he had me dying, man. Oh, man, look at him. He was creeping up a little bit. He's like, I got this. I got this. I got this. I'm timing this bad boy. I'm timing this bad boy. I really thought Steve was going to rip his head off because he's going to pull him back one more time. And I really thought it was going to be like, if you move forward again, I'm going to rip your head off. <laughs> I could just see the guy in the one. It's like, wait, man, I'm just trying to get a good jump. I don't even know. People ask me, how do I get away so well? I don't know, guys. I really don't know. Heath was the one that cleaned my dang clutch. And I don't even touch that joker, but man, every start I get, I'm just bawling out of control. Um, it's not due to gearing because, you know, me and the other guys have basically the same gear. So when the flag goes, my car gets going. Like, I go from 30th to basically in the race here in a second. Once, because right here it's slipping. Bam, right there, it hooked up. Once it hooked up, it was gone. And I'm not lifting. Come on. If I see a little hole, I'm not lifting. Now, this is how I felt. I should have ran off the MGM, off the road right then and there. Yep, that's exactly how I felt. Should have just ran him right off the track. <laughs> it's just, I was like, dang it. Uh, but no, uh, right here, you know, I'm, I'm getting pissed so dang hard. I'm like, well, man, there's a two-stroke behind me. Nah, it was that MGM. And you'll see here in a second, I am lined up five to six TBs deep. We're rolling over 70 miles an hour already. And look to the left look to the left you'll see this no it's, it's, this is not even the part that everybody's like oh yeah but you know it could have been gear and it could have been tires coming this no like i mentioned earlier the difference between two carts three carts four carts and a 206 class you can definitely tell what's up and you'll see this bam i have six carts lined up and look what just happened do not tell me that's due to gearing or new tires right then and there i knew <laughs> I, I brought the wrong motor 
so yeah we put an animal out there with us and those make a, a lot more power than we do and they and he was not able to push us to this group and yeah you're gonna see here that we're able to close in but they're not they're they're, they're slowing down because they're waiting for a teammate a buddy that's what they're slowing down they're not slowing down because they want to slow down they're slowing down because they're they're missing one more guy that that has enough grunt under the hood to uh to go as well so yeah he's looking up he's just waiting for someone else to come by i mean I, this is your guys decision leave in the comment below you know what do you guys think about this you know this it's a 206 class guys and if you feel good about cheating and running and beating I mean, good on you good congratulations on the win yeah i even went up after them and shook their hands you know i said good job just asked them who the engine builder was and and, you know that was it just just asking because right here bam gone i'm 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 on the rev limiter i'm maxed out so i mean i'm maxed out and i have it geared pretty dang low still i mean still 76 miles an hour is pretty dang good and they walk away i mean to me that that was just the end of the race right there <laughs> i was like well you know because that's it i uh definitely didn't come with the right uh engine package for sure and, uh, and, you know, if you didn't, if you didn't cheat, by all means, prove me wrong. Uh, you can do it by posting a picture of your Micron for the fastest three laps uh, of all three carts. And I know the first cart wasn't uh, the one breaking the rules because, of course, he had to go through tech. But the other two, it's my suspicion. Then here's the other group. Uh, they were fast as heck. They're always fast as heck. Kyle, Doug, the 149. But the differences between that group and the other group, I can chase this group back down with a, with a good draft. Uh, my guys behind me had a, I don't know, they were the cars were getting tight, so it took me a second to get back to my bumper and push them forward. I had a good race against Gary here. Uh, had a had a blast, you know, running with him. Uh, it was it was fun. I still had fun. Don't get me wrong. I, I was I was ticked off, but I still had a blast running with everybody and running with these uh, other guys that I know uh, are legit. And, uh, you know, you see, uh, a lap later, we got hooked up together. You can't run away. Like, it's you're not going to run away. Um, you can get away for a little bit, but, you know, if I have two more carts in a, in a draft, uh, I'm going to chase down three carts, no problem. Uh, that's just that's just the way it goes. Um, so, basically here, you know, just, just running with uh, these guys and, you know, keeping up with them and running with them and, uh, running with my guys it was just a blast um you know sucks that we had some individuals that may or may have not been cheating i'm trying to keep it you know as kosher as possible but you'll see here after the race i was uh <laughs> pretty hot but you know ran with these guys had a blast i was running with the uh, with another group as well you know and then uh I was just thinking to myself, I was like, okay, so if I if, if we keep running, we're still going to end up running nose to tail. And really, I mean, I'm having a good time, but at the same time, I want to run with my group of guys too. Cause, so right here, I just started to back off. I looked back, and I saw that I dropped uh, Junior and Heath, and uh, I decided to let out of it and not give up totally. But basically, I knew there was no way to catch the top three, and then these guys were going to stay nose to tail. So... I decided to back off and uh, go and uh, race with my uh, <laughs> my little group. Uh, coming up here, um, Junior uh, gets in front of me, and then uh, I, I see Heath back there, so I let Heath catch up as well. Uh, we all uh, hook up, get together, and then start racing with each other, which I had a blast racing with these guys. So um, there goes Gary, the cart behind him. Yes, that is, uh, that is a pusher that came out uh, to help the group the the top three in front um if that was gabe in front of me and i would hit him that hard he would have wrecked so i'm glad junior was the one in front because <laughs> that wouldn't happen uh here i decided to switch with heath uh let heath get in front and then uh pass because i kept dropping heat man I, I i didn't know what it was and then when i got behind him i understood uh his cart was just you know kept binding up for some reason and it started getting a little tight in the turns and my car was able to roll a little better uh, i see the group next to us i see that's lee and then uh, the 193 and another MGM. So I was thinking to myself, I was like, okay, well then maybe right here, if we get five carts together, we can start making some more headway. And, you know, we might be able to chase down the the top three group, maybe. Not the top, top three group. No, there's there's no way to top, to catch them unless I had a K100 on my cart. 
So let's be honest. So I was thinking about maybe I can catch the other three that I let go. Kyle, Gary, that group. And then I looked up and even after uh, uh, we get by, we, we all hook up. I saw that the uh, the animals pushing that front group. So there's no way to catch them. But it was cool to bring uh, these guys along. So I slow down and then uh, latch on to those two. And you're going to see here the difference, right? We're going to let Heath and Junior go. No problem. Uh, I have Lee and one more pusher. There's going to be three cards. We're going to run them down. That's just how it works. The more cards you have, the faster you are. Because these motors just don't, you know, you, you can't go. You can't go unless you got a big group pushing. And they'll do up to 80 miles an hour. Don't get me wrong. At Daytona, we have. But it, it takes Daytona and a pretty big group to get going. Uh, here, it's a long straightaway, but slightly uphill. So you're fighting that the whole time. And, uh, you know, it just doesn't happen. So we get together. We start going. Um, start pushing. So it was a it was a good run, definitely. Uh, the whole time I was having a blast seeing uh, these two in front of me. Bat not bad loud, but just seeing them draft. And I love always racing with uh, with our group of guys. So here we are. There's uh, six of us. And you saw earlier that these guys pass is blowing us. But since we have a group of uh not six five of us pushing um you know five against two they were they're about to have it uh we kept going kept pushing the whole race junior would point right but you know he would wait until the last dang second to pass someone i honestly he scared the crap out of heath and me a couple times he was like i was trying to get really close to a draft and break out i'm like yeah man but we have to freaking follow you too you know we could we can end up dying here right <laughs> He's like, yeah, but you're always telling me to push it to the very limit. I was like, okay, on a sprint track, man. So later on, he starts getting a little bit more, you know, letting us know. There's a <laughs> oh man, there's a oh, I forgot his name, Navy Boy. <laughs> there's Navy Boy. We blew by him uh, later in the in the group. I say it, um, and then here I saw Quincy, so I decided to back out. Quincy broke loose, and I was like, okay, well, I'll pick up Quincy too. And they have more people coming with us. So we start to uh, go. I have Quincy latched onto me. But something was wrong with Quincy's motor. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure he blew the head gasket. Uh, those things happen during these races. Uh, most of the time we like to recheck the, the torque of the head. But they just break on that seat, uh, that top part usually. Probably have monsters blow by. I don't think he's run the 206 since he got into his bad accident. So... That motor needs some maintenance. Quincy, I know you're watching this. Please, for the love of God, take your motor, get someone built. It needs maintenance. So, uh, Heath and Junior found out that uh, we had broken up. So, they started to slow down. Uh, I'm towing Quincy along. They get back in a row. And then I uh, get behind Junior and start pushing forward again. And then we all get hooked up. But then we end up dropping Quincy. Uh, not too long later so we tried uh, to bring Quincy along as well um, cause, but it just wasn't enough uh, he was having uh, power issues and then here we go and I, I'm kind of glad we ended up uh, grouped up like this um, I don't I didn't want to be in the middle or the first cart for sure you don't want to be the first cart in, <laughs> in a line for train so coming up to I think it's two laps to go basically like we had like five minutes or four minutes and Junior gives me a little sign. He goes, let's leave him. <laughs> He's like pointing back, let's leave him. I'm like, yeah, let's do it now. Because uh, it's easier to try to win or beat the guy in front if it's just you two. So right here, we pull out and we just go. We just leave Heath behind. I know that feeling, Heath. I know. You looked over and I know tears came out. Because um, we passed you fast enough that you weren't able to gain that draft back. So now I'm thinking in my head, all right, I'm thinking when to make the pass on Junior. This whole time I'm going to think how to make the pass. Junior's thinking how do I defend the pass, right? So after this lap, like we're, we're, we're just doing our normal thing, but I know in his head he's probably trying to think like, okay, do I break it, check him going up the hill? Do I drag brake, slow us both down? Or, or do I defend? Where, where is he going to make the move? When is he going to make the move? That's all running through his head. My head's like, how much? when do I stop pushing? When do I get a gap so I can get a draft and slingshot? I've done it on Miguel multiple times, and it's usually I wait pretty late, but I barely beat him. So I didn't want to leave it too late. And then 
uh, a lap car is going to play into my decision of when I go. And um, that plays a goal, too, because if you can catch a draft from a lap car, um, that that's your game over, too. And I didn't want Junior to catch a draft, so I'm pretty sure he was thinking the same thing. He saw a lap car coming up, and he was like, okay, I can get his draft, and then maybe work with him to keep Jorge behind. I mean, there's so many different – it's a tactic. It's like I always call it high-speed chess. Uh, sometimes in karting, you're thinking, even in sprint racing, uh, it's, it's all about tactics and, and what to do, when to do it. And there's little things that we do that we play the uh, these little mind games coming up. Like we'll drag break going to the last corner to uh, kill momentum. Or in Orlando when senior, uh, he knew I was going to make a, a hard run to it. So he brake checked before we even got to a turn, and it got me sideways. So right here, uh, we're coming up to the last lap coming up for us because uh, Steve gives us the one. And that means one minute left. So I know the next time around, we have the checker flag. And now I'm thinking, okay, I'm, it's going to be towards the end. Now, how late on, down the straightaway do I let it go? And in my decision, it would have worked out better if I would have waited later. And But like I said earlier, uh, a lap car was going to be in front. And I didn't want Junior to get the lap car's draft. So if I would have kept pushing him as hard as I would have, um, he would end up getting his draft and I would not be able to drive around. I thought I went at the right time to catch the guy's uh, draft in front, which I did not. So if it was me, I would have stopped pushing earlier this next time. I would have stopped pushing even earlier. Uh, but then I would have, I, I think Junior would have dragged brakes. So it, it was just a hard decision to do. And, you know, it was good, clean, hard racing. Uh, definitely it was, it was hard racing because... Uh, I know neither one of us wanted uh, to lose to, <laughs> to each other. Uh, and it came down to point zero zero eight. So coming up here, it's going to be the right-hander, and then the, you start going uphill, and the car gets slow. Like, it, it gets slow. You can, you can feel the lack of power going uphill here. So uh, once we go to the uphill here, I'm going to start backing off of him a little bit. But then there's a lap car in front. So I don't want to push him to the lap car. I want to get the lap car strapped. So I think I timed it right. And right here, he noticed something. He noticed. He starts looking right. He doesn't see me. Looks right again. He starts to brake check, and I start to go. Once he sees me go, and I went a little wide. Once he sees me go, he's hammered back down. He tucks in behind me and recatches my draft. I went too early and couldn't get that draft. Junior comes around, beats me at the line, and then shows me who's number one with his new gloves on ah, it was a good race thanks guys for watching thanks for putting up with my vs love you guys catch you guys on track next time don't forget wait until the very end for bonus all right guys so the race is over uh p9 today junior beat me by 0 0.008 at the line it was a good race good drag race to the end um <clears throat> congratulations to everybody that was out here uh, good memorial race the to tom speaks Rusty's a little upset because we left him hanging in the dust, but he was going way too slow. Uh, Quincy, I tried picking him up, but he had loss of power. Uh, something happened today. He was running up front yesterday. It's probably maintenance to the engine because that thing looks horrible. And he hasn't touched it or done anything to it. Um, good job to Junior and Senior. They did an amazing job. Um, you know, it was a blast, but... 16th. Chris, 16th. Um, it was a blast out here today. It was just a little frustrating, okay? I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna say too much about it. I don't want to butt hurt no feelings. Um, if they pass tech, wow, <laughs> wow. Uh, I just gotta say, I had an animal pushing me, and six cart train, and we were not able to get them. So, if that passes tech, then next year I'll be coming with a little bit more sauce, but. Definitely had a blast. Guys, please don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe, like, share. Don't forget guys, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Catch you guys on track. It's gonna be amazing. Just wait to hear the voiceover. So, I had a great time at Roebling SKC. Uh, Junior beat me by .008. Really good race. And I've never been motored so hard in my life with five carts pushing me it only took two to walk away next year for this club race 
we're all gonna run some really high powered engines. It's free game. So it's free game. <laughs> Next year it's free game. Let's see how fast the CKI can really go. CIK. Ah, I gotta edit that out. <laughs> Jesus, I screwed that up. Oh, thanks to SLA. Thanks to all the motors uh, companies that help out out there. Um, this is gonna be real bad. I might have to redo this. All right, hold on. I gotta redo this closing. This one sucked. <laughs> Let's try it again. All right, guys, race is over. <laughs> Junior beat me. Yeah, take two. Take two because I had to calm myself down. I'm kind of hot. It's not the weather. It's actually cool today. Junior beat me by 0.008. That's not why I'm hot. I'm hot because I got motored. <laughs> Out motored in a 206 class where you can't hit the rev limit by yourself. Unless you're running some high powered Millard engines. So, all right, I'll stop shit talking. I know you guys will all get butthurt if I, if I talk too much. Uh, no, I had a really fun time. Thanks, SKC. Uh, thanks to uh, uh, Tom Speaks. Uh, in loving memory of him, we did this, uh, they did this memorial race, all right? Great tech man that passed away. Uh, uh, excellent friend. Me and him go way back, uh, probably yelling at each other in the, in the toilet pits. Uh, then he'll come over and be like,